Right. I'm making a video, a uh, skateboard film for my uni project as well as for this chap who I'm filming. I'm going to build something, so it's like a, instead of adding a caption on the computer, I'm just going to make it, sit out the back, have his name written out like that. Uh, the way it's going to work is I'm going to print out his name on ABS plastic, uh, grab some timber, and then pretty much just spray paint the screw and whatever and just get it done like that. Um, so I'm just going to make a video so you can just see what I do, you know. And then afterwards, if you check out my um, the film when it's done, it should be done in a few weeks, then yeah, awesome. This is ABS plastic. I was going to print it on this powder form that's compressed. That cost me £22 to do his full name. At the moment I've got his surname, I need to go and grab his first name uh, later on because it failed. It should technically cost me a lot more, but because the other machine was broken, I'm getting uh, this for no additional charge. Yeah. There's my jackpot. I'm going to be scavenging through that to see if I can find any wood, because I don't want to pay for it. Um, the only part of that drawer thing I wanted was the legs really, so I'm just going to go take a screwdriver down, undo it, and then uh, bring the rest back up. I don't have a saw, so my initial plan of action is to go over to uni, go and slice up my wood, pick up the remaining laser cut thing, um, and then start spray painting and doing what else, yeah. Right, so I think I only need these two small pieces of wood so I can do it back and front and then the other two can be used for another project alongside these. Right, change of mind. I don't know if I can cut particle board with industrial saws um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pop into B&Q, buy a saw. Right, so I filmed myself going into being q asked where the saw is, I then went to film myself grabbing the saw and then was as I was paying for the saw um, security guy came up to me and said that I'm not allowed to film in here so I was like that's fine I'm not filming anymore and as this chap came up to me and asked me about vlogging because he was quite interested um, so while I was looking away the security guard came and took my camera um, deleted the footage and then threatened me to confiscate my uh, camera if I come back in a little bit annoyed more annoyed the fact that he grabbed my camera without me realising. Uh, I understand if he doesn't want me to film in there, and he tells me to delete the footage, not go and grab my camera, but it's not a problem. Um, I've got the saw, so whatever. <laughs> I just banged my head against six. I'm going to eat first, because I'm quite hungry, and then I'll build it. I'm 
I'm like Casey Neistat. I know, I know you're not. I'm, I'm, not, Casey, I'm, I'm like... not doing a Casey Neistat. If this drops, mate, I will literally cry. What? Sorry, mate. Boy, man, today, see what's here.